want to teach you I want to show you how to get this done so there's the database actually you are not going to be getting this one for now uh, the final product is going to look like this so now I'm going to split the database so this is how we split it I just go to the database tools then click on this particular icon here that's to move the data then I will split the database and when I split the database you can see the by default it shows the name here and then it shows uh, a an underscore PE underneath to show that this is actually uh, a back end so what I want to do I want to put in a particular location so I will put the, the back end location somewhere let me see inside uh, this place here which is my OneDrive so when I split it I click on this then you can see it's, uh, it's sharing, telling me that some particular records are locked and uh, it's used because it's in use so that means I ought to have closed everything down so let me close everything down so let me do it again so split it split database I will go to my OneDrive uh, the particular location where I want to save it so let me just go to my Google Drive here okay so I click on uh, split so for me well, let me modify this modify the name okay then uh, split it now as you can see it's splitted then all this one becomes a back all these ones become uh, uh, a back uh, and that is to say it's linked up so as you can see it is linked up now when you share this particular now this one becomes a kind of a shortcut that is to say this particular database now becomes a shortcut now all the databases will be linked to the particular file uh, here so you can see this is the back end here and if you check the back end here you will discover that the back end just carries just tables alone because this is where it is stored so now what now happens is that as soon as this one will be on the server that is to say your iCloud account so you know by default iCloud account we have uh, on each uh, user PC or on each workstation you will have definitely you have a folder a directory where these are actually uh, synchronized so on each computer so you have that here so every one of them already have this in as much to share to that particular user you will have this database the back end on his PC so now it is this one that you have to now uh, distribute you now distribute the front end so as you can see the front end is available for distribution now what the, the difference now where the problem is going to be is that anything outside the computer that it was actually shared as you can see this is my own PC and this is my name as you can see uh, this is my OPC is carrying my username so it's going to be different so in that case by the time it goes to a different person's PC so what you have to do is to come to this place because you will definitely have this one in view where you can click here click on this uh, navigation pane you can see click on it so by trying to click on it it opens then go to this table section right click on it and then click on uh, link table manager click on only link table manager then by the time you just come here select all you tell it to always prompt you for new location if it's actually uh, changed then so I'm going to do that now then I click on by the time you click on select or then you click on OK so by the time you click on OK if the if the particular direction is changed it's going to be different so let me make an example of that right away now let me go straight to this particular place let me assume I come here I put it inside this place here so I have moved it now what I will now have to do I will call, let me open the database now okay so by the time I open the database okay so uh, things are going to be different now oops <laughs> something here is happening here so let me check it again it seems I moved it to a different location. Oh, sorry for that. I moved it to a different location. It was not actually inside OneDrive. I think uh, this one was very, very. That one was my fault. It was supposed to be inside OneDrive. So, but rather, I think I put, I placed it inside Google Drive instead of OneDrive. 
so let me check it again so let me come here uh okay it was actually here so let me move it inside the uh, let me say this place let me move it inside 2017 okay so now what i want to do right click on this by the time i click on this now let's assume this is the person's new pc you double click on as you can see this is what you are going to have so you don't need to panic about it's just a kind of a close it here click on this close it right click on this and say you see like i showed you just now right click on it and say link database manager so table manager so you just select all then click on ok then a prompt will come up here you have to select where it is located so each user we have to get this done so by the time this is done you just select where it is uh, let me come here uh, okay this is not actually one drive try to look okay he's here google drive so it's inside 2017 and you can see this is it here so you can see it is logged in and then you close it then uh, you can easily close it or you can just click on the database tools uh this so now it compacts it you can see there you go so it starts working and synchronizing automatically so you do it on each person's pc I'm trying to load it again. Kind of slow because of my recording app. So it's taking much of the memory. Okay, so it has loaded it. And if you come here, you point to it. See, this is the new location. So on each person's PC, it may be different. It may be different on each person's PC. So another way, one of the best way of uh, preventing this uh, is just copy it to your drive C, give it a good label there on your drive C, and uh, I think that solves that solves the problem. So you won't need to start changing it from PC to PC. So just put it on drive C. There you go. So that is uh, that is how it, it is done. Uh, additionally, for this particular tutorial. Uh, based on leaking it uh, if you want an automatic uh, type that can automatically change it actually is a kind of uh, takes time to write the particular code I can actually write a code for an additional price if you want to if you want me to do that I can automatically check for the links and then or to prompt you that the links has changed so for a non-technical type it will prompt you that the links has changed then you have to, to tell you please select the new location so that one gives no problem at all just prompts you anytime it changes and dynamically so but for this particular one what you need here is to come here directly is to come here directly then uh, do what i told you to do so that is that about linking linking your particular database to a back end and uh, connecting from different remote location based on uh, having a back end on a cloud account so that it's synchronized to uh, to permitted users which are actually available on that particular pc so thank you so much uh do contact me if you need more details